Hi, Jim Martin with the Charleston Parks Conservancy, and today we're out at St. Julian Divine. We are finally, after years and years of planning and fundraising and wonderful support from people all over the city, we're putting in our design, which will then allow people to come back to St. Julian Divine. People always ask me, well, how did you decide on what you're putting in? Right in this location, we are near a basketball court. So very soon we will have lots of children and adults and they will be going everywhere and people will be jumping into the beds. And so how we decided what we would plan here has a lot to do with that. So it's focusing attention on, yes, good flowering, but at the same time, plants that can take abuse. They can be run over, a ball can hit them. If something breaks off, it comes back. So in this uh, spot, you have uh, grasses that, are, that will be coming up. We do have some flowering plants like the salvia, which we actually took cuttings from some of our favorites in Hampton Park and rooted those ourselves and put those in. And then other plants like this podocarpus over here, which is an evergreen. It can take a lot of abuse. It can be, uh, you can probably sleep on it and then the next day it'll pop back up and be ready to go. We couldn't do what we do without the Charleston Park Angels. It's our volunteer core group. They get together um, throughout the year and help us, whether we're maintaining parks or whether we're planting new uh, projects that we've been working on for years. And this is a perfect example here at St. Julian Divine. One of the first things that the volunteer core would have helped us do is um, our staff and the volunteers get together. We rake this whole site where you see this sod then we laid the sod and now we're in the process of planting um, on the outskirts, flowering things uh, that will be uh, a perfect place for people to come enjoy the afternoon, morning or night. Very soon you'll be able to come out to St. Julian Divine, enjoy the new playground equipment. We have a huge turf area that you'll be able to kick the ball on and have a lot of fun, have a picnic um, and just enjoy the park. We'd like to thank our sponsors, also the city of Charleston. We work side by side with them on all of our projects, whether it's a project where we're uh, maintaining something that's been there for a long time or a new project like St. Julian Divine where we're putting new plants in. Uh, we couldn't do it with all, all of our partners. So thank you again. Um, we hope to see you out here at St. Julian Divine very soon. And uh, you have a great one.